Hey guys, welcome to another video. So this one's not a mock test, it was supposed to be but the person couldn't turn up. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to drive and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. So it won't be a full test route, but I'm going to go through some important stuff, for example roundabouts, crossroads, and just talk you through what I'm doing and how it should be done. So hopefully you'll find this um, useful. And remember, if anybody does want to do a mock test, you can get in touch with me on uh, Snapchat or Instagram, just drop me a message on there at DGN Driving. So hopefully you find this video useful. Let's get started. Okay, so moving off. First thing you do is prepare the car, getting your gear, a bit of gas, and getting the biting point. So the car's ready. I'm going to look around and make sure it's safe to move, which it is. There's some people behind, so I'm going to just pop my right signal on and be safe to move off. So at the end of this road, I'll be turning left. So the first thing I do is check my centre mirror, my left mirror, signal left. Let's keep your normal position. I'm going to slow the car down a bit. And I'm going to put the clutch fully down. Select gear one because I can't see much at this junction. So view is quite restricted, so I'm going to lean forward, edge forward, check both sides, and it's clear. And once I enter the new road, check my mirrors to make sure nobody's overtaking as I build up my speed. I'll be taking the next turning on the left. So I'm checking my center mirror, left mirror, signaling left. And I'm going to slow down a little bit for the turn. I'm going to select gear two and bring that clutch up. I have got priority here. So I'm going to look into the road and just take my turn, let's enter the new road, check my mirrors to make sure that nobody's trying to overtake me. Okay, I'll be taking the next turning on the right. I can see a sign telling me this is a crossroad. So I'm gonna check my center mirror, right mirror, signaling right. And you can see a box in the middle with a right arrow. So I'm gonna go into that. I'm gonna get this position here in the box. So my position here now, I'm not blocking any traffic behind me. This car on my right has to wait for me. There's no oncoming car, so I continue into the road. Entering the new road, checking my mirrors to make sure nobody's overtaking. Because he parked vehicles ahead. So to overtake these, checking my center mirror, right mirror, steering over to the right, leaving enough space just in case somebody opens that van door. And after overtaking, coming back to the left, checking my mirrors. At this mini roundabout, I'll be turning left, first exit. So again, center mirror, left mirror, signal left, slowing down. So I'm looking to the right, I haven't got the best of views, I'm getting gear two, clutch is up, checking again, it is safe, so I can go now. And once you enter the new road, just like I've done before, mirrors, and then accelerate. So looking at this road, it looks nice and clear, so I'm going to stick to 30, but ahead I can see a bend and a park car on the bend as well. So as I get closer, I'm going to check my mirrors, just ease off the gas. Just expecting other cars, it's like these vans, well there is a van there that just came. And my speed was already good for that situation, to deal with that situation. At these traffic lights, I'll be turning right. So I'll check my centre mirror, right mirror, signalling right. Moving over slightly to the right. And here the lights are green, there's no oncoming traffic, so I'm going to select gear two. Clutch up, I'm going to take my turn. As you notice, the light, the light has just turned red there, but I've got to go anyway because I've passed the first, first set of lights. So once you're in the middle there, and if those lights do turn red, you just continue. These traffic lights, I'll be turning right. So center mirror, right mirror, signaling right. And again, our position slightly to the right. I'm stopping just at this line by the lights. And as I've stopped, because I know the lights have just changed, handbrake, and again, I can put it into neutral, or if I want to get ready, I can get gear one, and I'm a foot ready on the gas. So here now, even while we're waiting here, a lot of people do switch off and just start to relax. Always be thinking, what are you going to do when these lights turn green? Who's got priority? So after these set of lights, when my lights turn green, I know that van ahead, he's got no signal on, so he'll be coming straight ahead probably. So I'll have to go and wait in the middle. And also checking my side mirrors to make sure there's no bikes. 
So see, while you're waiting, there's always something to think about. So I'm going to move off. And I'm going to go into the middle. I've got to wait for this oncoming traffic. So I need to get a position where I'm not too far to the right, so I don't block these oncoming cars, but also this position, getting this good position, cars behind me, I look at this lorry, he can even get through. So I'm waiting in the middle, I've got the handbrake up, rifle's ready on the gas. If this light turns red, I will have to go, I can't wait in the middle here. Check my mirrors again, see the gap and I can go. So we have traffic lights coming up. At the lights, I'll be turning right. So I'm gonna check my center mirror, right mirror. I'm gonna signal right, and I'm gonna get into the right hand lane. You can see the road markings. This is the lane I need to use to turn right. Now the lights are just turned green, so I'm gonna go into the middle, as I have to wait for these oncoming cars. I'm going to get a good position, so I'm not blocking them. I'm gonna use the handbrake, so I can get my feet ready. Ready on the gas pedal and the biting point ready. So that car's turning, he's even flashed to let me know. So I can go as long as it's safe. So when people flash at you, don't just don't just rush out. Just make sure that there's nobody else coming and it is safe for you to go. So here now the lights have just changed. So they've just changed. I know they're going to be red for a while. So this is where I'll use my handbrake. I can even select neutral for a little bit if I want to. I can put into gear one to get ready. I'm going to put into neutral so I can rest my feet. And now I'm going to get gear one and get ready because I anticipate the lights changing. Checking my side mirrors for any cyclists. And again, there's a pedestrian crossing. I want to make sure there's enough space behind that van. Otherwise, I'm just going to stop here. Now the vans move forward, so now I can go. See, otherwise I would have blocked the crossing there. Okay, so here we're in slow moving traffic. And when stopping behind a vehicle, especially a large vehicle, let's make sure we have enough space. So, you want to keep about this much space. So, just in case, say something happened to the van, it broke down, I can easily drive around it. And because there's traffic ahead, I've selected neutral, my handbrake's on, I can just take my feet off the pedals. Now I can see the lights have changed ahead, so I'm getting my gear ready, my feet ready, and checking my mirrors, especially the side ones, watching out for any bikes. So at the moment, I'm driving around 45 miles an hour, and I'm keeping a good good gap. I'm keeping two seconds from the vehicle in front, just in case he brakes suddenly, I can easily stop my car. So I'll be following the road to the left here now. You can see the signs for a sharp end, so I'm going to check my mirrors and start slowing down. And I'm in fourth gear, just a bend, so I'm going to drop to third gear, bring my clutch up. Uh, not using any acceleration at the moment. Just looking to see if it's safe around this bend. Here it is, now I'm checking my mirrors and building up my speed. Here now I can see the road's nice and clear, so I'm going to stick to the speed limit, which is 30. You don't want to be driving too slow. I can see some, well, traffic lights as a pedestrian crossing. Just looking out for any pedestrians there. There's nobody there, so we know these lights aren't, aren't going to change. I can see a pedestrian who might step into the road. So okay, he's not going to. Here and ahead I can see some parked cars, so I know I'll have to move over to the right, so I'm checking my centre mirror, right mirror, and moving over to the right. There's no need to signal because there's nobody behind me there. And if you look at the markings ahead, I can see the two lanes are merging into one. So I'm just going to check my centre mirror and my left mirror to make sure nobody's trying to overtake. And I can see a keep clear sign in the road, which I do not want to block. So I'm just going to stop here. And slip my gear. And again, well, I was going to use the handbrake, but there's no need. I'm checking my side mirrors to make sure there's no cyclists there and then building up my speed. Right here now I can see parked cars on my left and oncoming cars. And when there's parked cars, 
I've got to assess the gap. There's enough space, but I'm going to ease off the gas a little bit because of the lorry. And now the gap's opened up again, so I can speed up again. So remember, as it gets tighter, you get slower. Okay, so here there are two lanes, and I can see a sign there, warning sign in that red triangle, that the lanes are merging into one, but also the road marking. So at this point, I need to check my centre and right mirror to make sure no one's trying to overtake. There is a truck thing quite close, but it's held back. At this roundabout, I'll be turning left first exit. So I'll check my centre mirror, left mirror, signalling left, slowing down, staying in the left hand lane, selecting gear two. I can see it's clear, my clutch is up and it is safe to go. Staying in the left lane and just check my mirrors as I exit the roundabout. Once I've entered the new road, check my mirrors again and just looking out for any signs. This is a 31 hour road now. So it's really easy when you come off a high speed road to drive too, drive too fast on the normal 30 mile an hour roads. So always keep an eye out for any, any signs. Or you can tell this is a 30 because it's a built up area. You've got street lights and you've got people walking around. So it's 30 miles an hour. Okay, so I'm on a dual carriageway, 50 miles an hour. And there's a roundabout coming up. At the roundabout, I'll be going straight ahead, first exit. So I'm checking my mirrors, being aware of what's going on around me. So I'm gonna start slowing down. I'm gonna select gear two, stay in my lane, start looking to the right. There's a gap after this red car. I'm going to stay in my lane, check my mirrors and signal left to tell everyone I am coming off here. And then build up my speed because it's a 50 mile an hour road and keep up with the traffic ahead. roundabout I want to go straight ahead second exit so I'm going to slow down and if you look at the road markings now I can't use the left lane so I'm checking my mirrors going into the right hand lane cancelling my signal selecting gear 2 entering the roundabout and keeping to the right and now check my centre mirror left mirror signaling left is safe I'm moving over to the left now so it's really important to look out for road markings as you saw there we couldn't use the left lane for straight ahead so we have signs for a roundabout there. At this roundabout, I'll be turning right third exit. So again, center mirror, right mirror, signaling right. There's only one lane here. So I'm gonna stay slightly right. So there's no markings here, even when we enter this roundabout. So there's cars coming from the right. So I've got to wait. So after this van, there's a gap into the roundabout because I'm turning right I'm going to stay to the right hand side that's exit number one just checking my mirrors seeing what's going on around me don't want to slow down too much I'm still in the right hand lane and now as I get to the second exit checking my mirrors signaling left telling everybody I want to come over it's safe on the left so I'm going to move off oh, sorry move over and come off in the left lane and entering the dual carriageway building up my speed and also as always checking mirrors just to see what's going on behind. So at this roundabout, I'll be turning right third exit. So I need to get over into the right hand lane, center mirror, right mirror, signaling right is safe. So I'm going to move over. I'm gonna slow down a bit more. I can see these 30 signs. So I'm gonna select gear two. It's safe to enter the roundabout. I'm staying in the right hand lane. Remember I'm taking the third exit. That's exit one. Still in the right hand lane, checking my mirrors, that's exit two. Now I'm gonna check my centre mirror, left mirror, signal left. There is a car behind me, but with my signal, he knows I'm coming over to the left, so it's held back for me. And once I enter the new road, checking my mirrors to build up my speed. That's why it's important to get your signal on at the correct time, just to warn others about what you're doing. As soon as the vehicle behind saw my signal, it was in the left lane behind me, but he held back because he saw my signal. At this roundabout, I'll be turning right third exit. So I'm gonna check my center mirror, right mirror. And I'm not going to signal just yet because of this junction. I'm gonna move over to the right. And I'm going to signal right. And I'm sliding down, selecting gear two, to looking for a gap to go. There is a gap for me to take. I'm staying to the right hand lane. 
Now that's the first exit. As soon as I get near the second exit, I'm going to check my centre mirror, left mirror. Signal left, checking my mirrors again. It's safe for me to move over. I see I'm going to come off in the left lane. That's a normal driving lane. Here I'll be turning left now. So centre mirror, left mirror, signaling left. Now I'll be joining onto the dual carriageway. So I'm going to check my centre mirror, right mirror. Can have a quick sideways glance as well. And it's safe to move on or to join on. So I'm going to build up my speed now. Seats 40 to dual carriageway. And if the speed limit's 40 or 50, if it's safe to do so, get up to the speed limit. I'm anticipating that silver car pulling out. And he has. Okay, ahead I can see cars waiting to turn. So I'm just going to check my mirrors and ease off the gas a little bit, just in case they do pull out. I don't want to slow down too much, otherwise they might think I'm giving them way. And once it's clear, I'm going to continue. So I can see some signs for a sharp bend and a bridge coming up. So I'm not too sure what could be over, over this hill. So I'm not going to be too fast and anticipate there could be traffic building up, but it's clear, so I can just continue. So when you're driving, it's really important to plan ahead, look out for what's coming up, look out for road markings and signs, and there's no harm in talking yourself through what you're doing. So hopefully you found that video useful. If you did, remember, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next video.